Right, for this project, we're gonna be using our imagination and we're gonna be creating a playground. So all you need are strips of paper. They can be one inch, they can be a half inch, two inches, whatever you wanna use. They can be any color, they can be any length. I like to start with one inch strips just because it gives me something to sort of work with with my students, but you can use whatever you have on hand. What we're gonna be talking about are the different things we can do with the paper. So we can take the paper and we can fold it and crease it and make little zigzags. So let's say, for example, I might start with something like this. Okay. So we put a dot of glue, we hold this down for about 10 seconds. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this could be a little part of our playground, a little bouncy. So we can fold our paper, we can roll our paper and do fun things with it. We can scrunch our paper, make something neat out of it that way. Just giving you a couple of ideas. This could this looks sort of like an art sculpture in our playground. <laughs> We could take our paper and fold it like a big slide, and we would glue down one side and then another. I've seen children do absolutely the most imaginative things with this project. It's really open-ended. I've seen little park benches for the parents to sit on. I've seen swirly, rolly things. If I had something, let's say, like this, I could take something else and kind of weave it through and over and glue it down like that. So the only thing you'll wanna concentrate on is that you just put down one dot. Remember, just one dot will do. We don't need a whole bunch. We're gonna put it down. Now, if I put it down and immediately let go, it's not gonna stick. So I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If it's not sticking, which that one is, you could stick something heavy on it while you work. Now, what if I don't want it that far? I could either tear it or I could cut it. And also, let's say you have a friend or helper with you. You could press it. Could you hold that for me while that dries for a second? So maybe she'll hold that for me while I get this pushed down. And I'll count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I can put something heavy on it while it's drying. You could use glue sticks, but things won't dry quite as fast or as um, well as you might want, but you could certainly try them if that's what you have. So I am going to let Presley work. We're gonna watch her because she is much more creative than I am. So she's going to take the scraps of paper that we have. She's going to fold the paper, roll the paper, scrunch the paper, and anything else that she thinks of. And she's going to design an imaginary playground. And then you at home can do the same. All right, let's get started. So this is the trampoline. This is a skateboarding place and the guy that's skateboarding it has to go and this is a water place where you get water. And then this is just a little boat on a little river. And then this is a tunnel. And this is another tunnel. And this is a big roller coaster that you can see the whole park from. People are right on top. 